Once a friend of Caesar approached him with a sad face and told him about the many troubles that bothered him. But the emperor put his hands around and replied, Do not complain of thy misfortune so long as thou hast Caesar for thy friend. When we are hit by the storms of life, when we are overwhelmed by the hopeless situations, and when the desires for sins engulf us, we should also remind ourselves, do not complain or lose heart of thy misfortune, so long as thou hast Christ, the King of kings, as thy friend. His kind eyes behold every moment of our daily lives. His empathetic mind understands our griefs. His strong arm lifts us up when we falter and fall. And he invites us to rest in him when we are weary. The first reading from the letter to the Hebrews tells us that Jesus is our friend because he is the mediator of better covenant than the one given to our fathers. This new covenant is enacted on better promises. It is sealed with the blood of Jesus, our mediator. It offers pardon from sin and from its guilt and its negative effects on our own lives as well as our families. He promises a life that is holy, harmonious, progressive, blessed, and everlasting. That's the reason in the gospel passage today we heard people pressing on to Jesus just to touch him. Christ's saving power is guaranteed by the perpetuity of his priestly office. He is our perpetual representative before the Divine Father. The efficacy of his redeeming work and the merit of his sacrificial death are unabated. And his spirit is still living presence, still a living presence and power among us. Christ's saving power is made available on the simplest condition. Come to him with a repentant and humble heart and with an earnest desire to obey and serve him. He is in turn removes the, the obstacles which prevent us from approaching God. He removes our guilt and fears, guilt and fears, and makes us worthy to enter his kingdom. Are we conscious of God's new covenant with us? Do we think of Jesus representing us before his and our Father? With this image in our mind, do we enter into a relationship with him? Do we pray that each member of our family will enter into this new covenant with Jesus? God bless us all.